Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaper today and on World of Warships console. That's right, boys and girls, we're on here. We're doing the Tier 2 Russian cruiser, the Tech Tree cruiser, which is the last of the Russian ships down here at this tier until they bring in another premium. But until then, we got this thing to enjoy right here. Now, the things about this ship is a tech tree ship though it does leads on to the tier 3 in the tier 2 destroyer and tier 3 cruiser the loadout it gets he shells ap shells and a damage control party which basically every ship gets a damage control party the stats it gets 23,000 hit points um main batteries it gets 130 mm 55 model 1913 it gets 12 of these guns so that's well, basically, you just say that's on the sides of both the port and starboard side of the ship. Then the ship also gets a, another two more guns. The 130mm 55 model 1913. Two of them, which means he gets two guns. Basically, four of these guns. Um, they're the same size and caliber guns as the other ones, but these two are actually in turrets for them. I'll show you in a little bit. The firing range is 11.9 kilometers, reload time is 8.2, turning time is 36 seconds. Max HG shell damage is 1,900, firing scene chance is 12.5%. Max AP shell damage is 2,520, which is a lot more better. But, you know, HG is something you can constantly hit the enemy target with, and without worrying about penetrating. The max speed is 24 knots. The turning circle radius is 450, and the rudder shift time is 6.7 seconds. Detectability range by sea is 9.9 .9 kilometers. Detectability after firing your main batteries is 11.9 kilometers. Uh, detectability out when you're firing your uh, main batteries is 11.9 kilometers. Detectability rare by range by error. Uh, can't talk. <laughs> it's six kilometers. After firing your main batteries is nine kilometers, and when the ship is on fire is another nine kilometers. Granted, detectability range is two kilometers, and while firing in smoke is four point four kilometers. Not the best, but you know, it's a cruiser. It's not to be. It's not meant to be the most stealthiest ship. So yeah, the armor. It's pretty much interesting. I'm guessing you say you could look at it, but saying yeah. The bottom is 10 meters thick. The four end plating is 6 to 80 meters thick. The end, four end deck plating is 6 to 25. The four end outward ship is 6. The bottom is 10. The aft end plating is 6 to 80. The aft end deck is 6 to 25. And the aft end outward ship is also 6. The coin tower bottom 25, the coin tower sides is 150. So that's basically so far the most armor you're going to have on the ship. The coin tower tower top is 25, the side plating is six, the top side top plate top side plating is sorry for that guys is also six. <clears throat> Rear plates are 90, the barbertier barbertit armor is 73 bottom plating is 13 to 25 frontal plates are 25 to 125 so basically that 125 is the most armor it's going to have and the side plating is 20 to 125 the top plating is 25 and that's it for there the afterward ship is 10 the plating is 13 the deck is about 11 the afterward ship is 10 that's it for there. The Citadel Outward Ship is 13. The Citadel Bottom is 12. The Citadel Deck is 35. And the Citadel Outward Ship is 13. The Citadel Armored Deck Sloping is around 70. And the Citadel Plating is 11. So, yeah. And this is the other thing. This is a pretty slow ship, but you know what? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the captain. <coughs> This is my main captain. I have a burn it down XXL chance of HE shell causing fire 1.5 percent. 
Uh, you have Ignator, the chance of cruiser HE shell causing fire, 2%. The punch through, cruiser's main gun AP shell damage is 5%, and cruiser AP shell penetration multiplier is 3%. And I also have Fixed, uh, cruiser main battery reload <coughs> shell grouping is 2%, and dispersion of main batteries is also 2%. And then my legendary skill is refueling station. Cruiser main battery reload time is three percent, and cruiser main battery range is ten percent. Now I mean, you could switch things up if you want to, but I would try to deal with more, especially for the lower tiers, more of the, um, well you know, guns than anything, uh, especially for the light cruisers, but. And we'll talk about that in the more farther future videos of Russian cruisers. But, you know what guys, I think that's enough to talk about this ship in the port. Let's take her out, let's see what she could do, and I'll see you guys there. Hey okay, guys, we're back on Upper... Upper... Uh, Upper... Upper... <laughs> I am probably watching that name so badly. <laughs> the map. But, we are not top tier, sadly, in this game. We are actually... Bottom tiered. That's right, boys and girls. We are bottom tiered. Oh boy. But to be honest, well, I wouldn't be showing you this gameplay if it wasn't really a good enough gameplay. If I think we've gone to YouTube, it was. Well, was it the best? I mean, not 100% the best, but not 100% the like. Well, I mean. I'm not going to spoil for you guys, you guys can watch it, we are definitely not into a bottom tier, I mean a top tier game, but, you know, whatever, I mean we got a French destroyer here, this uh, pretty decent little guy, I mean it's a tough little French premium tier 2 destroyer, which the French will be coming out, not tomorrow, <laughs> but the next day, um, because tomorrow is Assassin's Creed with a World of Tanks video, and yes, for boys and girls, we're getting to the end of the tier 3 tank reviews, so, yeah. And we're, well, not 100% there of any of the tier 2 ship reviews yet, but, uh What I gotta say? I get spotted, though, as you can see. And, uh, I didn't know what I'm getting spotted by. I see a battleship over there. Eh, he's way out of range for my guns. So, I began thinking, maybe there's a destroyer somewhere over here. Let's get in there somewhere inside the cap. And boom, there is a destroyer right there. A French tech tree destroyer. I fire my first salvo at him. That's just doing any effect. I fire another salvo. Crypt his engine, his torpedo tubes. Call him a fire as well. He puts his damage control party on. And we fire another full salvo at him. Does any effect? Not too much of a big effect. But he's going straight ahead of me, and I see torpedoes in the water, so I don't want to get hit by those. I'm getting capture ribbons as well. Oh boy, I don't want him to get close to me, so I'm trying to turn inward, so if he does launch torpedoes again... Mm, are we going to kill this guy? I'm hoping so. I'm getting hit from something else, it looks like. There's fire coming from somewhere else. We, oh, we set him on fire, we did a huge chunk of his health. That's what HE could do. This is what Russian cruisers are perfect at. And boom, we eliminate him. And there's another destroyer right over there. Uh, don't know where he's at now. But I s could still see the cap being tested. There's somebody still inside the capture point. I'm looking at this battleship. I want to fire him, so I do. I fire all my servo at him. Hoping some of those at least hit. And... I was like, you know what, this is still being captured. So, I asked my friend Ray to help with this. I don't know if he understands me. But we did catch a fire on that battleship. And I did ask the cruiser to help and support me of, well, capturing this point. And there is the Kermitin, a British tier 2 premium destroyer. We fire first salvo at him. Uh, I actually crashed him. I actually knocked out his engine. Nice, which is good. I know he's going to want to try to appeal me, so I'm definitely want to stay away from him. I him. Some other guy told me about him, which I already know about him. Oh boy, 
he's getting torpedo range, he's going for it. I set him on fire. I set another salvo at him. Uh, he's firing back. Ain't doing much. Mm, only one shot penetrated. Are we actually going to kill this guy? We fired a salvo. We did a huge chunk of damage to him. And I hear torpedoes, so I start turning inwards, and he dies. He got killed by my fire that I set to him. And I'm just way too out of range for those, that battleship and that other destroyer over there. As you can see there. So I'm trying to turn inwards so that way I could help capture this point and maybe even get some guns onto that battleship, the Nicio, the German battleship. I think that's the tier 3 premium, yep. And it looks like though there's torpedoes coming in from him. That could be from our aircraft carrier. But I can't retell. And there's the enemy destroyer. Way out of range for my guns. Both him and the battleship. So I can't really do not worry much against those guys. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe I can reach him right there. I fire. But those didn't fail where I want them to. So I was not in range yet. Um, down 100%. Do we do spot the carrier? He's right there, but again, he's way out of range of my guns. I'm thinking maybe the battleship might be in range of my guns now. And we fire. Mm, nope, nothing hit. So I fire again. Another salvo. As you can tell, this ship doesn't really particularly go quick. But do we hear him? Nope, not yet. Here I find out he's up against a island. So that's why now my shots aren't hitting him. Fire the salvo. I fire another three shots. <coughs> Try for that, guys. That actually did some damage to him. Up to 16,000 damage. But there's one thing you guys must know about the ship. And my teammates did kill him. There's a carrier still out there. And I said, good. Try to say good game, but, uh,. The first time I didn't want to enter, uh, do what I want to tell, or wanted to, to do. Uh, but my friendly over there, he finds his doomly demise by the carrier's dive bombers. But there's one thing about this ship you must know. Do not expect to take on the carrier 100% sometimes. Now, what I'm going to be showing you here, I guess you could say, we did take on the carrier. But... You just don't have the anti-aircraft guns to deal with the aircraft carrier's um, aircraft. So, I guess all due respect, it's not the perfect idea. But right there is the Russian betrayer, and someone said where he's at, and not just said affirmative, you know, be nice. <laughs> That's always the thing. And I want to capture this point because it does put some more points... Um, doesn't get. I mean, it's a carrier. He's not really going to sink us that fast and stuff. But you never know. Something might happen in a game. We do capture it though, which is good. And I'm keeping an eye on this carrier because I really want to start shooting him. Because I mean, it's a carrier. It can keep you spotted through the rest of the game, and it's still like seven minutes into the game. So. We still got a long way before we could actually win in points. Or actually win. But this carrier, I'm keep on looking. I fired my first salvo at him. Hoping those hit. They are HE shells. He looks like he is side on from me. And only one shot actually hit in the damage. Okay, we fire another salvo. He is launching torpedo I mean uh aircraft. He's no longer sideways, so I'm better off just fighting HE I am right now. And do you see those dive bombers coming for me? And I kind of don't want to get hit. So I start turning inwards like this. So that way I could kind of avoid them. I do fire another uh, complete salvo. He does hit me. Knocks out one of my gun turns, but I bring it back. We do hit him with two of our shots. The penetrated. Okay, we switched the AP because he's starting to show broadside, hoping to get a citadel. No citadels, but you see my AP is doing a lot of chunk of damage. Okay, 
It looks like he's very focused on me, so it's just pretty, bro, I guess it's good. And there's those bombs, they did nothing, they looked like they either ricocheted or just completely missed. Here's this destroyer coming, I don't know, he's putting smoke out. We're still hitting this guy with chunk of damage of AP shells. Are we... Well, he looks like he's starting to turn broadside in and... Boom! I switched to HE, but no need. I killed him. <laughs> that was a good game for me, guys. And to be completely honest, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And also subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always... I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.